it's a team that were hammered by Liverpool and they've been hammered by PSG but those were games that were not played in this stadium in these circumstances with this atmosphere and the build up that they've had as well they've not shut up <laughs> since we've started talking and it's brilliant the noise is great and this is actually getting louder I was just and louder say, it is getting louder and do you know what it says in Cyrillic it says let the struggle be continuous well if this is a struggle with these supporters behind you then they will feel like 10 feet tall we didn't even hear the referee's whistle but we are underway but we are underway so we'll try through this din focus on the football there is no substitute for being live and we're live on five live here in belgrade they're still going fervent doesn't do it justice it really doesn't they want it quickly can you imagine what this place will be like if red star were to score Stojkovic is going to take a throw they're jumping up and down away to our left hand side in comes the throw six yards out goes behind for a corner kick Liverpool had it covered well that noise just for a corner kick and the throw in before it just tells you something this is this is some of the best noise I've ever heard at a football match in my life it is absolutely extraordinary supporters jump up and down bouncing all the way around this bowl like arena and what a din they create nil nil seven minutes play it actually makes you slightly seasick they're watching the way they jump up it looks like a wave do you have paracetamol with you by the way um i've got unnamed <laughs> this i think we might have a headache come the end of the game bbc radio five live live here in belgrade red star nil liverpool nil i don't say the phrase try and silence a crowd good luck with that one <laughs> I've been to Belgrade to watch Partizan in, back in 2003 Red Star get the honours for creating the most noise you can see the Liverpool supporters clapping and no doubt chanting, you just can't hear them they've certainly played their part this, uh, this crowd and I'm looking down just now, I've just realised I don't think any of them have actually sat down yet Oh. at all Marin waits hands on hips runs forward now right footed down the header Red Star Belgrade lead by a goal to nil the place has gone absolutely nuts sheer bedlam in Belgrade it's Pavkov Milan Pavkov with a downward header Alisson couldn't keep it out Red Star Belgrade lead Liverpool by a goal to nil. Well, what a noise. And we have got a game on. And just when you thought that the noise couldn't intensify, it certainly has. You can hardly hear yourself think. Every Red Star supporter is jumping up and down in front of us. I've just decided for the bucket list. I want to attend the Belgrade derby, the eternal derby, Red Star against Partizan, because I think that could be some spectacle, some occasion. He's going to shoot from distance. Oh, what a goal! What a strike! Pankov has unleashed a bullet. Right footed. Alisson stood no chance. Red Star lead Liverpool 2 0. I've never experienced anything like this. When you're doing the commentary, I don't know if it, obviously it's coming across back to you on the listening to Five Live, but you're shouting to have to hear yourself. Really hard to explain why this is happening. You have got to say something about this place where we are. For the last 33 minutes since the very first whistle, these Red Star supporters have not shut up whatsoever. I think we just had about 30 seconds there with the. They went almost quiet, these fans, and thought, is this really happening? Are they winning 2-0? We will not hear the whistle, but the crowd reaction will tell you when it is half-time. Heroes and Red Star certainly have 11 of those out there in red and white at the moment, and they will be cheered to the rafters as they go back down that long white tunnel back to their dressing room.
in this intimidating venue. And there is the half-time whistle. Red Star lead Liverpool by two goals to nil. There is nothing cold, even with the, the, the weather, because this fiery stadium for a goal kick, the raging passion from these supporters are spurring on the Red Star players as they lead 2-0, as the noise and the atmosphere once again picks up where we left off. Marin tries to thread a ball. Still the racket that goes on. The Red Star support has been incredible. As once again those foil-like bits of uh, banners that form the mosaic at the start that said let the struggle be continuous are now being waved at the north end of the stadium and all of a sudden everybody else then decides to follow suit as everywhere you look in this pole like arena silver bits of paper are being waved above their heads and in fact the mosaic is actually going to be formed once again what a sight here inside the Ryko Littich Stadium in Belgrade they have been more than a 12th man Red Star lead 2-0 remember Paris Saint-Germain has still got to come here on match day 6 an intimidating a menacing stadium where Napoli were held to a goalless draw on match day 1 and Liverpool are faring even worse training 2-0 when I was speaking to a club official yesterday and I said this atmosphere I was always looking forward to it it's going to have to go to beat the Maximir Stadium where I remember 20 years ago they brought a helicopter in above the pitch and it hovered and whipped the crowd into a frenzy the bad blue boys of uh, Zagreb and then he just said to me he said you've seen nothing <laughs> he, oh, says, yeah. we, he says we will have a conversation after the game he was so so right you can hear it for yourself they whip it back up again as Red Star still lead 2-0 Milner will kick and once again as every move breaks down they break out into applause and then they start singing again prompted boy and the goalkeeper to act as the cheerleader as he waved his hands and the supporters certainly responded however they've not shut up all night 2-0 the flashlights you can see all the way around the stadium on their mobile phones they're ready to capture that moment they're ready to capture the moment where Red Star Belgrade get their first win in the Champions League proper and they will be claiming the scalp of Liverpool five times winners and they are going to have wild celebrations here in Belgrade tonight more and more flashlights up around the stadium because we're inside the last 45 seconds of added on time and Red Star lead by two goals to nil it very much keeps them in the mix in Group C there it is the bench of Red Star Belgrade celebrates after a wait of 26 years competition they've got a victory against the mighty Liverpool by two goals to nil their first success in the Champions League proper it's a costly defeat for Liverpool two goals from Papkop in the first half it's finished Red Star Belgrade 2 Liverpool nil he actually deserves it thoroughly if you can hear us in the cacophony of noise Liverpool only had three shots on target and Boyan was equal to all of them as Liverpool now really have a lot of work to do here in the noise of Belgrade Red Star 2 Liverpool nil.